today opening of SIDDEF 2017, an international defense exhibition in Lima, Peru. But this event is not only dedicated for military equipment, it's also an event for natural disaster exhibition. What does it mean? It's also an opportunity for international exhibitors to showcase latest equipment which can be used for flood or earthquake situations. Buenas tardes. El que les habla en esta oportunidad es el oficial de mar primero, infante de marina. Good morning. This is first official Sanchez from the uh, from the naval infantry. He's currently a, a driver in the in the marine battalion of the of the eight by vehicles. Digamos que el cambio que se ha visto, bueno, para remontarnos un poco. It obviously has uh, has. Um, vehicles uh, evolutionized. This vehicle, this platform compared to the last has given them a, a huge jump, uh, mainly because of the electronic infrastructure and, it, and its uh, um, mobility uh, capabilities and its ability to perform um, in, in amphibious roles. The main element is that this is an all-terrain uh, all vehicle and, and capable of moving in all terrains and, and obviously water and that's what was able to allow them to move and move supplies across any, uh, any condition that they were faced with in the in the recent flooding. Muchas gracias. Jadar Equipment and Defense System was established in 2005. It's a joint venture between the governmental and the private sector. The main, the main products is RPG-32 and uh, with uh, combination with the sites, day sites and night sites. And also we show the quad, Nasha quad RPG-32. This is uh, for uh, launchers with four rockets. And also we have the uh, J9 rifle, sniper rifle with two calibers. Let's say we had talks with uh, some agents with some countries, but uh, now we, uh, we feel that we have to present here in South America, beginning from CITIF, and we will see other exhibitions here uh, to, to open more uh, activities with the company UAV del Peru is a company focusing on the use of drones, unmanned airplanes into the military and the civilian markets. Actually uh, we were looking for about a year, year and a half of a good partner to help us with our significant drone range operations. We did a service around the world and we found this company Sala Aero Group in Russia that they produce a very reliable, maybe not the nicest, but very reliable and very operational uh, UAVs. For instance, for our military friends, I can show you the newest technology in the market. This is a tether drone that it can be on the air between 10 and 15 hours. So imagine these drones can be installed on a frigate, on a small boat, and they have, a, they may have installed a radar in top of that one, and because they have unlimited energy, unlimited signal, the small boat can have a radar with 200 meters on the air. We just signed this contract with a French company, Elister. This is a drone that it can be installed, you know, and it can go and land it in water. You know, it cannot go underwater, but it can be take off and landing on the water. And also, 
they have a release mechanism that it can be installed and then you can release a lifesaver from the air. We are from a Spanish company called Instalaza and the, the product that you can see there is uh, our uh, Alhambra hand grenade. It's uh, the sole and unique hand grenade in the world with a mechano-electronical mechano fuse. Normally, hand grenades have a pyrotechnical fuse, uh, compo the, co the composite is powder. Uh, in our case, we don't have powder in the, in the fuse of the, of the hand grenade. It's an electronic system without uh, any batteries that generates its own electricity. And uh, this allows the hand grenade to be transported and to be uh, carried together, body and uh, fuse and also gives you uh, the possibility of having the, uh, the hand grenade in depot over 10 years and still being 100% working. One uh, thing about the electromechanical fuse is that uh, we test uh, the 100% of the fuses during the process of manufacturing, so we know that 100% of the hand grenades will work when uh, it's necessary. Actually, if you see the hand grenade here, this is uh, the defensive offensive hand grenade. It's uh, two hand grenades in one. This is the defensive configuration. Okay, so it has fragmentation, the, the body of the hand grenade is plastic. If we remove this part of the hand grenade, the jacket, this is the offensive configuration, this is just explosive and pressure. And uh, inside the hand grenade you can see 3,500 uh, small uh, steel balls that will give you a, a, a lethal radius for the hand grenade of 10 meters. China North Industries Corporation. They're able to offer a, a whole system for the uh, disaster, natural disaster. So we use uh, a lot of sensors, different types of sensors to uh, evaluate how is the condition, how is the, the maximum uh, of the disaster. So we send all the signals to the national uh, command center. So they will evaluate if this is a series if they have to send people to somewhere and so they will direct all these uh, national or public entities or uh, defense, uh, Ministry of Defense, uh, inter Interior Defense uh, minister, Ministry and so all these public uh, services they will use different type of instruments to, to give uh, the people, give the local people uh, the rescue, some help so it's our uh, idea. With remote weapon station, what we mean is a stabilized platform with the stabilized platform, what we mean is that the station can keep the direction of the cannon, okay? No matter the movement of the vehicle or the platform where it is mounted, okay? A stabilized platform equipped with a, a block of sensor consisting of three sensors. IR camera in order to be able to make a night operation, okay? Day side camera in order to make day operation and a laser range finder in order to get the range uh, to the target and, in, and introduce that range to the ballistic calculator, okay? That block of sensor uh, is the main base for the fire control system of the station. The fire control system allows this, uh, this weapon to be fired, not only in movement, but also against moving targets. With this, using and controlling remotely from inside the vehicle, all your troops are protected by the armor of the vehicle of the platform that you are using. That is uh, the remote weapon station. 